In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the newest features for Premiere Pro that were released during this year's Adobe Max. And speaking of Adobe Max, this video is sponsored by Adobe, which is awesome because we're talking about Premiere Pro, yo. Let's dive right into it. First up, let's talk about the color management improvements and why if you shoot on something like the Sony a7S III in S-Log, you should be getting pretty excited about this. In the older version of Premiere Pro, when it came to converting my S-Log footage to Rec. 709, I would have added a corrective LUT in the Lumetri tab underneath Basic Correction. But there's a new way to do it. To start off with, we're not going to be using this input LUT underneath Basic Correction. What we will be doing is using Color Management. You can quickly find out if your video files can use Color Management by right-clicking and going to Properties. If you see this little section right here called Color Space Override, then you have a file format that can use color management. If I were to go to the older version of Premiere Pro, right click, go to Properties, notice that Color Space Override is nowhere to be found here. That's because it wasn't supported before, but now it is. So you might be asking yourself, what does this all mean? Well, let me show you. If I right click on the clip, go up to Modify, Interpret Footage, Underneath the interpret footage tab, we have this color management section. And would you look at that? We have an input LUT. So we could add a LUT or even better in this circumstance, if I go to color space override, click on this menu, here we have conversion LUTs for some of the most popular manufacturers and all the way at the bottom is Sony S-Log3 Cine. I click that, hit okay, and boom. Now we have a manageable, file that we can color correct. Say you have a whole day's worth of footage, now you can just right click all of those, hit interpret, and just apply the LUT to every single one really quick. Since we're here in the Lumetri color panel, let me showcase to you some of the new functions with that as well. If we look over here at the vector scope, the first thing that you should notice is that the particles now have color. If we go over to the older version of Premiere Pro, color is represented, it was just in a different way, and all of these particles are white. It's kind of nice that you can see the color here on this scope. And speaking of being able to see things, now if you double click on the vector scope, you get 2x zoom. And just to show you, if you double click here, you, you, don't, you don't get that in the old version of Premiere Pro. Nice little add-on. They've also improved the viewability of your curves. So let me go over here. And now if I make this wider, notice how the curves get bigger. You can make the curves take up your entire screen. It's like, whoa! If you look at the older version of Premiere, the bigger you make this, it still stays a square. And probably the biggest change to the whole Lumetri color panel is this button right here, Auto Tone. In the previous version of Premiere Pro, we had a little auto button down here, and it could work sometimes, but they've completely redone it to this Auto Tone button. And for people that may not know much about color correcting, man, it could probably be a lifesaver in some circumstances, or at least give you a starting point if you just open up Premiere Pro, grab some footage, throw it in there, and hit that button. It might give you somewhere where you're like, hmm, that just looks good right there, and then you make some minute adjustments from that point forward. And lastly, let's talk about the new feature to simplify the look of your sequences. With the sequence highlighted, if I go up to the word sequence, scroll down, we now have the option to simplify your sequence. Please cut me some slack if I say the word sequence a lot during this tutorial. So I'm gonna click that, and now we have a menu to simplify our timeline. <laughs> When you do simplify your sequence, it's not going to erase the one that you're currently working on. It's going to create a duplicate sequence. Here's where you would name the new sequence. Underneath that are all of the parameters available to you to help simplify the look of your sequence with just the click of a button. I'm just gonna click this close vertical gaps, hit simplify, and notice how it closed my vertical gaps. And it created that duplicate sequence. I'm going to go back to my previous one that I was just working on and bring the menu back up. Now what I wanna do is click remove empty tracks as well. So now when I hit simplify, not only did it close those vertical gaps, but it also deleted any empty video or audio tracks. 
Some other specialized ones that you can remove are things like graphics, transitions. If you're unfamiliar with what a through edit is, that's when you create cuts on a clip, but there's no space in between those cuts. So basically I could move these cuts to any place, but I'm really not doing anything to this clip. It just so happens that there's a split in the clip right there. One thing I would like to point out though, is if I add something like a black and white effect to this part of the clip. So as it goes, it turns black and white and then it goes back to the normal color. I go to simplify my edit, get rid of through edits, hit simplify. It got rid of those through edits, but in doing so, it also got rid of that black and white clip. So just something to be aware of. You can get rid of disabled or muted tracks, disabled clips, offline clips, clips with a certain label, and also you could remove specific colored sequence markers. Nice feature to have when you're looking to clean up how your projects look. So let me know in the comments what you think of the new features in Premiere Pro. If you are curious about how to edit music within Premiere Pro, I have a whole playlist. I have it right there. Until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.